Hello and welcome to Shara's Craft Haven. Today I'm going to be continuing my XCS beta testing for the Laser Box Laser. Um, I'm going to continue working in the Lightburn to test out the G-Code export. Um, and I'm going to be focusing on images and trying out Dither and comparing that with the built-in Dither of XCS. Alright, I'm going to import my image. This is without dither. Um, I cropped it in um, Imager, and so let's let's try hundred millimeters. There we go. Uh, since I'm gonna not have a camera, I'm gonna try to um, try to stick on the wood the best that I can. Not not uh, mess with materials. All right, so we got this. Um, maybe I'll go a little smaller. I don't want to lose too much detail, but I also don't want the engraving to take forever since I'm going to be doing this multiple times. Again, down here we have our library loaded. So it has the um, XOP1 selected. I haven't changed any of the settings from the document yesterday where it went through and helped us get this set up. And let's go to machine settings. Okay, G code. Um, I'm gonna need to reset this. Uh, my material is three millimeters. So as I mentioned yesterday, um, it's 21 millimeters by default and then we subtract the, the material thickness. So for three millimeter, this is gonna end up being 18. So it's gonna say G zero space Z dash 18. Gonna click okay. Uh, image settings, all right. Presets, so we're not gonna do any of those. There we go, image mode. Uh, let's try Jarvis. Stra sketch seems sketchy. Halftone seems like a new newsprint. Okay. Hmm. Grayscale. A little blurry. I'm thinking Stuki. Atkins. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's hard. I think I'll try. I'll try Jarvis. Um, I'm not gonna mess with any of the other settings, um, except I think I'm gonna change the the DPI to three eighteen. Contrast. I think I'm not gonna mess with any of these others. So I set it to Jarvis. Um, it has the before and the after, which is probably pretty small, but it is, it is different. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, let's, let's see how that looks on the canvas. It looks like we're at the 120 and the 40 mark. There we go. All right. So speed hundred, I'm going to increase the power 110 and then let's try 40. Um, it might take me a while. I don't want the air assist on. Um, I'll try this probably for a few passes. See how this looks. Come back. Image. Image mode is Jarvis. Over scanning, it has 2%. Distance to over scan is a percentage of speed. We'll see. I might have to play around with this. Um, yeah. All right. So we'll click OK. Save the G code again. Jarvis 318. Save that. Yes, we're going to replace it. And then 
we will turn on the machine and get going. I've connected the machine. Here is my Here's my bed. This is actually at the origin. So the origin is a little farther up here. I'm gonna try auto measuring thickness. All right, and let's import the G code. And we are doing Jarvis. Okay, we're gonna send it. Switch over to our laser camera, which hopefully has sound this time. I apologize last time that it did not. I might be turning this off quickly if it goes poorly, but let's see how it looks. All right, I don't know if I'll edit that out or not. Um, it looks like I, I missed some settings in, in Lightburn from the bottom to the top of the image. And I'm not sure why. <laughs> I had some positioning issues, so that's why I'm restarting this. I've taped off my uh, machine so you can see um, the left straight uh, edge is every 10, um, 10 centimeters, every 100 millimeters, um, so that I can place wood semi-accurately. Um, I also discovered that in uh, Lightburn, um, it starts at the bottom when it does engraving and it goes up. I couldn't find out how to switch that. My guess is there is a way to switch that. Um, it just threw off, I was trying to use scrap wood, and it threw off where I thought it was starting versus where it was, so I've had to restart. Um, I imported, um, I'm going to be ready to open it up if it doesn't work. I'm going to turn on my fan now. Alright, fan is started up. I'm going to press start and we'll see if this new camera angle works out for you all. <coughs> Just adjust the bed over a little bit. All right, well that was test one. I didn't see an estimated time in Lightburn, but I'm not sure where to look for that. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a similar setup with the same dither in XCS. So let's try that. So much easier with camera. So I'm going to import the same same image, display original size. Okay, I'm going to change the dimensions. Up 
here. So the height is going to be 70, 75. All right, place this over here. Um, I'm going to do the same Jarvis. Um, speed and light burn is calibrated differently. So there's no way to input DPI in here. Um, so we will, we will try this and it was by bi bi-directional. So let's see how long it says this is going to take. And if it, if it starts looking awful, I might let it go halfway just to save time. <clears throat> but try and have a side by side comparison. So I didn't let it lo go long. Um, I don't see a way in XCS to to uh, to do um, DPI, and so it it just it doesn't look good at all. So here's the service, um 110 millimeters per second, 318 DPI, 40 power. And then over here, um, again, in theory, this is Jarvis, um, 40 power. Actually, I started it faster and it was completely light. And then I restarted it with, um, 110. It's, it went faster than the light burn, um, but it just, it just toasted it, which is what sort of the preview showed. So not looking great. I'll have to figure out the line interval um, to have a to try and figure out a comparison between what lines per centimeter looks like in XCS and what lines uh, interval per millimeters looks like in light burn. So translating those numbers together. I'm going to do some more tests but I'm not going to record them all. Um, I will probably get back to you with a summary after a few more tests. So here's my summary after a few tests. You can see the ones that I did there before. I then tried to do a smaller uh, portrait size. Again, XES is super washed out. I played with the settings, fuzziness, sharpness, um, some speed, and it really, the dither just really doesn't work. Um, I did some other testing with uh, light burn, which is on the side. Um, 30 power was a little light, so I ended up doing two passes. 318 DPI. Again, I did it faster than I probably should have, 200 millimeters per second. Um, but I can work with the settings with, with light burn. I don't see any way to fix what it's doing in XCS. So. So I really hope they, they move forward with fuller light burn compatibility um, at minimum. <laughs> the G-code is nice. Placing was a little bit of a pain. Um, but as far as dithers uh, concerned, there isn't even a comparison between the ability of light burn and XCS. Um, I was going to compare with uh, imager, imag-r.com. Um, but I just ran out of time. It took quite a bit of time to do these tests and to do the settings in between. Hope this helps. As always, please like, subscribe. Um, I know everybody says subscribe and nobody listens to them, but it's a huge help. We're four away from 400 people. So if you could just hit that subscribe button and mean a lot. Affiliate links in the description and I'll keep you on for the journey. We got a couple more days of testing and then 
uh, and then we'll see where we get from there. As always, have fun lasering.